Some help, finally. I thought I was done for. What's wrong? I'm fine, but my friend remains in that damned hospital. Cedric told me that two people went missing near the burnt mansion. I'm Rupert Branduber. I'm a medic from Edda, and I came here with a friend to look for a very rare species of herbs. These woods aren't the best place for herb picking. So we were warned, but the temptation was too great. We got as far as the site of the fire. No sign of herbs, but there was something downstairs. Something. What's that? Can you hear it? That's Grindley's dog. Feel that? Something approaches. Help us! Damn it.
They needn't have done it. Those here were innocents. And I? Damn it. towards me. It's not my fault. It wasn't me, not me. What's not your fault? Fire. Fire everywhere. It wasn't meant to happen. I didn't want that, I swear. Won't get much out of you until I calm you down. Maybe the fire didn't consume everything. Maybe I can find some medicine, a sedative. Go away! Is it mine? No matter. Clean it. Whatever happened here made quite an impression, even on those who are mad. Uh, uh, 
stone. Is it mine? No matter. Clean it. Is it mine? No matter. Clean it. The floor. It's moved. It's creeping towards me. me to find you. Rupert lives. Listen, you and your friend. I don't get it yet, but you aren't telling the truth. That's painfully apparent. This place seems to have a very dark past, one you had a hand in. Do you understand me? Y yes. Great. So now you can tell me the story and don't skip a thing. S story? There's always a story, Gridley. Spit it out. Oh. We're former soldiers, fought for Eden during one of the wars with Nilfgaard, times long past. I was Rupert's adjutant in the field hospital that our unit set up in this manor house. We didn't at all mind who lived here. In fact, the inmates were friendly. At the outset, that is. One day our scouts captured a Nilfgaardian. He was desperate to win his freedom, and claimed he was part of a detachment that had concealed the booty looted in Eden. We couldn't believe our fortune, thought the gods had smiled upon us. We'd heard incredible tales of this treasure, questioned any black one we'd captured. It seemed all our efforts would finally be rewarded. We decided to make him talk. By torturing him? Our commander wanted to break him on the wheel, but Rupert said he knew a better way. There's a local herb if you brew and drink it, you can only tell the truth. The commander interrogated the prisoner, drawing a map in the process. And we celebrated. Talked of how we would divide the treasure. And took ever greater liberties with the patients. The priest looking after them began to protest, and one of our boys split his head open. Nice, quickly. Keep talking and I just might let you go alive and intact. What happened next? Once the prisoner revealed where the treasure was hidden, the commander had him quartered in front of the lunatics. They'd shown signs of madness before. When they smelled blood, well, we could not control them. Many we simply had to cut down. I don't even know how the fire broke out. Any of the patients survive? A young woman we managed to pull from the burning building. She was nice, quiet and... willing. Two nights later she slit our commander's throat and... that was all we saw of her, and of the map of course. The war was ongoing and shifting fronts forced us to abandon our search for her soon after. And here you are, back after many years. Really think you can still find her around here? Life's not treated me well since then, and Rupert's had it even worse. This is our chance to reverse our fortunes. Fate smiled upon us once. Perhaps by some strange chance it still holds us in favor. <sighs> I wouldn't count on that. I think we're dealing with one heavy curse here. And it looks like we need to start by finding that Nilfgaardian's corpse. Go away! Lee! Lee! Leave me be! 
Away with you! It's moving. It's creeping towards me. A wolf leading wolves. What do you want, Spectre? Their deaths? Two of twenty return when none remain. Yet one shall judge them. If he is merciful, he will feed them to the dead. If he is cruel, he will grant them what they came for. A prophecy. I should have expected as much. Bring me their hearts, so I may feast on their cowardice. Bring me their eyes, so I may spit in them before they are forever extinguished. Is that your offer? Fine. I'll lift this curse one way or another. They deserve to suffer! They deserve to suffer! They deserve to suffer! towards me. And... I met the North Guardian's ghost. Let's find your comrade. Gridley, you live. What happened down there? I found the ghost of the Emperor's soldier. You're the Witcher. Get rid of it. The ghost wants revenge. It brought you here to the scene of the crime. It'll lift the curse in return for you. By the gods, you'll not help him, will you? The ghost wants your hearts and your eyes. Gods, you must trick him. Surely you know a way. I could pull the hearts out of some neckers. Thing is, I'm wondering if it's worth it. Witcher, I beg you. Do what you must. Go see the butcher for some pig's eyes and hearts. Anything. You'll not send us to a cruel death. Pig hearts? I suppose there'd be some poetic justice in that. And... You're the Witcher. Get rid of it.
Oh! <laughs> 